بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہیلو ویوورس السلام علیکم ویلکم بیک دس از ڈاکٹر عابد ویوورس ان ٹوڈیز لیکچر آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ٹیل یو اباؤٹ دی اینٹی مارٹم انسپیکشن آف دی میٹ اینیملس سو فسٹ آف آل واٹ از اینٹی مارٹم ایگزامنیشن اینٹی مارٹم مینس بفور ڈیتھ اور بفور دی سلاٹر ایگزامنیشن آف دا اینیملس از لٹرلی نون ایز دی اینٹی مارٹم ایگزامنیشن and terminology physical examination of the animals prior to slaughter is known as anti mortem inspection or the anti mortem examination of the animals now what are the aims of anti mortem inspection now anti mortem inspection is can only be done on the live animals for the production of wholesome meat for the consumers and to detect the Uh, abnormalities of the posture and abnormalities of the behavior at earlier stages for the protection of consumers and protection of the slaughter personnel at the later stages after slaughtering because they have a major chances of transmission of the zoonotic meat borne diseases now anti mortem inspection is of especially concerned with public health protection because animals are suffering from the zoonotic diseases which are able to to be transmitted from the hum, animals to the humans to avoid this we focus on the public health concern as workers are already alerted of this zoonotic diseases and then appropriate measures are taken to avoid this or the prevention of the occurrence of such diseases in the uh, public number second is animal health concern infectious disorders and then animal welfare animal welfare is usually for the examination within 24 hours of the slaughter and then we will then that separation of the fruitful females fruitful fruitful means that those females which are in the stage of pregnancy and aggressive and hard animals to prevent from the injury or the trauma to the handlers or the personnel handling the animals anti mortem inspection is used to monitor and improve the animal wealth animal welfare and number second detect the existing problems and then implementation of the appropriate control measures so anti mortem inspection is not only concerned with the just examination of the physical examination of the animals but we will try to improve and monitor the animal welfare and detecting the problems and after that eliminating of such problems and then what is the process of anti mortem inspection anti mortem inspection starts at the arrival of animals at the lairage or simply slaughter houses their natural or artificial light is provided 24 hours and then observation of the animals is done in motion as well as monitoring of the animals at rest to detect any of any kind of the problem there are two co- components of the anti mortem examination number one is screening of the animal and then segregation of suspected animals are the unsatisfactory condition now the veterinary examination is diagnosis of the screened out animals and then segregate during the initial screening process so this is the job of a veterinarian and then exception of the minor significance for example one horn or with an extra teeth minor cuts are injured during the transportation these are the exceptions what can be acceptable to the further processing in slaughter houses it means animal those animals can be slaughtered but after a limited time period now supplies for performing the anti mortem inspection includes thermometer for temperature and suspect and condemned tags these are used for especially for detecting the abnormal uh, animals and then after that segregating those animals from the healthy animals and then tagging pliers pencil 
for anti anti mortem inspection card formation and anti mortem inspection card itself now what abnormalities is to be look out the initial screening process there are several problems can be detected through the physical examination but in this abnormalities in breathing can be monitored for example frequency of respiration frequent coughing and difficult breathing or dyspnea may be detected at early stages if there's any problem existing then we can call out those animals and abnormalities in behavior are observed significant and serious diseases includes like rabies furious and aggressive behavior of the animals lead poisoning bovine spongiform encephalopathy can be related to the behavioral abnormalities in animals and then what are the signs of abnormal behavior pushing its head against the wall walking in circles and then walking in circles is commonly occurs in various diseases uh, simply we term term says that circling disease it may also be in listeriosis or rabies or any of the disease which affects the central nervous system and charging at various objects anxious expression in his eyes just like in uh, rabies as well and dull expression in its eyes activity very aggressively behavior due to stress maybe due to stress now what are the abnormalities detected in gait while observing during the anti mortem inspection abnormal gait are, is are reluctant to the move for example it may be due to lameness lameness or leg pain it may also result from the arthritis or inflammation of the joints and pain in the chest or abdomen due to poisons and toxic residues and nervous disorders just like staggering or circling may also influence the abnormalities or indicate the abnormalities of the gait just like medial patellar desmotomy is procedure which is used to set the uh, abnormal ligament displacement now what are the abnormalities of the posture tucked abdomen these are the signs of the posture abnormalities tucked abdomen they have the example of the tucked abdomen and then why with its head turned and along its side stand with its feet stretched out in front and stand with its head and neck extended just like here and here you can see that extended head unable to rise depression moribund are the dying states these are the various abnormalities of the posture through which we can detect these problems and call out that abnormal animal from the other flock to prevent its uh, and first we cure it and then later on we can also mm, further process or slaughter that animal or delay the process simply now we look for the abnormal discharges or the protrusions from the body openings discharge from the nose may indicate several diseases just like ppr and small ruminants and other uh, common signs just like nose discharge or eye discharge may be found in uh, case of the parasitic infection bloody diarrhea or wound excessive salivation from the mouth excessive salivation may be from the rabies or diarrhea may result from the enteric gastroenteritis and dysentery etc or scores in small ruminants or goats and then wound may be found which may cause the maggots or other abscess formation which results in the discharge or excessive salivation may be found in the profuse salivation in rabies as well and pregnant animal pregnant animal may be there may be the discharge for, for the indication of the uh, abortion or other miscarriages intestine production from the rectum or rectal prolapse there may be uh, mucous membrane complete or incomplete rectal prolapse uterine production from uterine protruding from the vulva uh, prolapse of the uterus mostly found in the 
pregnant animals or after parturition and growth and fluid lacrimation from the eye indicates the intestinal or liver fluke parasites now the abnormal body conformation or body condition this is this is a case of the paramount importance that we look for the body condition score of the animals from the animal welfare point of view there may be the chronic disease problems like pericarditis pneumonia or nephritis pericarditis refers to the inflammation of the pericardium of the heart pneumonia refers to the inflammation of lungs and nephritis is inflammation of the kidney so that due to chronic diseases or problems there may be uh, unsuitable body condition score of that animal animal may be found thin and weak swelling of the skin may be abscesses bruises uh, due to the uh, mismanagement bruises are found on the legs and various there is a bruises you may see here and bone fractures and hemorrhages emaciation organs or muscular tissue appear thinner moist and glossy so this emaciation is this is emaciated in which animals are showing its ribs without any muscle coverage or skin now abnormal body conformation or condition may also results in the swelling of the umbilicus enlarged udder you may also see that udder is enlarged due to mastitis or any other kind of the trauma or injury bloated abdomen may also be observed through the uh, body conformation or the condition other than normal blot bloating or the blot is a di disease or we simply it also refers it as the tamponing in which gas accumulation occurs due to heavy uh, concentrate feeding most commonly found in the small ruminants that's like goat and sheep and then swollen legs due to hormonal imbalance and other management practices enlarged jaws or lumpy jaw disease actinomycosis may be found in that case pendulous lower abdomen or hanging the down abdomen it may also due to the internal parasites as well in which there's no nutrient supply to the body and for the protein formation and swelling of the subcutaneous lymph nodes may also results in the immune depression as well antimortem findings for the infectious diseases now what you will look for the in animals that this animal is suffering from the any in any kind of the infectious disease so if animal is indicating one of these signs then you have to examine or examine critically and for that you may also need for the laboratory <coughs> tests for the confirmatory diagnosis just like animal is chill and sweating and results may also results in the dehydration hyperthermia or fever septicemia or parasite or infectious bacteria in the blood and there may be increased pulse and respiratory rate which is known as the tachycardia and tachycardia respectively depression and dullness in the in its eyes as in healthy animals are bright alert and responsive but in depression and dullness indicates there is there might be any kind of the infectious disease or other problem anorexia and constipation are secondary characteristics after the infectious disease or any kind of the problem septic fever diarrhea and vomiting may also results in the uh, kidney failure or intestinal indigestion etc urinous or phenolic odor shock convulsion and coma these might be the possible signs for infectious diseases you have to look for the cause it cause of that disease and then diagnose it and after the diagnosis we will recommend to delay its checkup and then delay its process for the further slaughtering or any kind of the Uh, practice or experience going on that animal to be performed now at the end we make anti mortem inspection card for the 
history so in which we focus on the write the owner's name from whom we have purchased this animal the number of animals in a lot in arrival time for example you are purchasing the lot of 30 or 50 animals then you have to write the animals lot and time when they arrived at your slaughterhouse or any place species and sex of the animal what is the species of animals for example it's cattle buffaloes sheep or goat and then time and date of antimortem inspection when it was reached at your farm and then when antimortem inspection was done it is usually recommended that an antimortem inspection should be done 24 hours prior to the slaughter clinical signs and body temperature if relevant reason why the animal was held here at your farm for example it may be for the meat or milk production or any kind of the disease diagnosis or slaughtering then after that signature of the inspector now we will see this aspect from the what is the importance of the meat meat is an, from meat is an animal flesh that is eaten as a of food then what is the importance of the meat and meat animals in the quranic verses so here are the list of some of the verses in which meat have been mentioned in which very first is that and we have subjected them to their use so that some of them they use for riding and some others they eat surah yasin verse number 73 and of the cattle are some for burden and some for the meat animal uh, mentioned in surah al anam verse number 143 and then third number allah it is he who has made cattle for you that you may ride on some of them and some and of some you eat surah al mumin ayat number 79 and the cattle he has created them for you in them there is warmth for warm clothing for example we use the animal hide or the animal wools for making the jackets and other materials for warming in winter season and numerous benefits of them and of them you eat and some of them we eat animals this is mentioned in surah al nahl ayat number 5 uh, thank you very much today's lecture ends here hopefully you will enjoy this lecture and for further videos subscribe and like my videos thank you very much for see you soon goodbye